If you're somebody that moves off the golf ball in the backswing, suffers with poor contact, then this video I'm going to explain what's happening, why it's happening, how you're going to fix it and give you a simple little drill that will transform your ball striking. Something that I see very, very often when I'm coaching is players that will move off the golf ball in the backswing. Now that's going to really make it very, very difficult to consistently strike the golf ball, hit the golf ball, hit the turf, get that really good strike that we see on TV on a weekly basis. So first of all, I want to talk about what does that affect? I want to talk about the low point and talk about the golf swing as a whole. So I've got a seven iron and I want you to think of the center of my body, so my sternum, my spine, that is my center line. If we understand that the golf club moves around your body in a circle, like any circle, there will be a low point. So the bottom of the golf swing, the bottom of the arc is crucial when it comes to ball striking. Our job is to move the bottom of the golf swing three to four inches after the golf ball. So let's discuss that circle idea, that arcing motion as we swing through the golf ball. How does the body and its positioning influence the bottom of the swing? Well, let's say I was to remain very centered. If I didn't move laterally off the golf ball or towards the target and I just stood here, I'd be pretty consistent at hitting the ground just right down beneath my sternum every single time. So I can hit that ground contact pretty much where I want it. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, I'd love it if you consider subscribing, hit the like button, drop me a comment below and enjoy the rest of the video. Now what happens if we happen to make a backswing and we move off the golf ball? Well, I shifted the bottom of that swing behind the golf ball. So if I'm somebody who's here, now if I don't move back, I'm gonna suffer from really heavy contact, fat shots, if I didn't hit the ground, with the bottom of the swing being behind the golf ball, the golf ball will rise through strike and catch the bottom of the club, equator of the golf ball, so you get thin shots. So if we're moving our entire body behind the golf ball in a bid to load up and get more power, we're actually bringing the bottom of the swing too far back, killing our strike. You'll see the best in the world. What are they doing? When they get back to impact, they've actually gone from a centered backswing, not moving off the golf ball, they're staying centered on their line, they actually move laterally a little bit left of the golf ball, now that puts the bottom of the swing target side of the golf ball. That is the primary reason why they can hit golf ball turf and the divot occurs after the golf ball. So if I'm here, stay centered, move a little bit towards the target, I'm now bringing the bottom of the golf swing after the golf ball. So I can collect the golf ball as the club's still descending on that arc, hit the golf ball, hit the turf, then back out again. Let's look at it this way. If that was the bottom of the golf swing, okay, and I was to, in my backswing, move a little bit into my right side and sway off the golf ball, notice how the bottom of the arc is now behind the golf ball. So I've got a whole lot of making up to do. It's very difficult to move from so far behind the golf ball to get the low point far enough in front of the golf ball, because obviously we're turning, we're not just sliding backwards and forwards. Now, what happens if I stay centered in the backswing? So staying on that spine angle, that centered line, think of the sternum just staying right in line with the golf ball. Well, if I stay centered without moving off, I keep the low point where it is with a little bit of a pressure shift and a lateral movement into the lead side as I'm swinging down. Notice how the low point, the bottom of the swing is after the golf ball. That takes that bottom of the swing and moves it to the point where we can get better contact. So the two key areas that I see people maybe faltering will be how the chest moves as we swing back and thus how the spine works. Also how that trail hip works. So first of all, let's talk about the chest and give you a nice little feeling for how we stay centered and keep that low point in the right place. When we set up to the golf ball, we are bent forward. So we're in forward bend as we say. Set up to the golf ball, tilted forwards. That's our forward bend. What I see a lot of and what brings that low point too far behind the golf ball will be a golfer that stays in forward bend for too long in the backswing. What would that look like? So if I made a backswing and stayed in forward bend, you can see my chest points down to the ground, taking me off the golf ball, bringing my low point too far behind the golf ball. So that simple little move where the chest stays down too long, we're bent forward too long is a killer as you take that club away. So if that is what you do, I want you to think about it like this. Instead of when we swing back, instead of the chest feeling like it faces 
down for too long, what would happen if I was to make a backswing and feel like the chest was a little bit higher in the backswing? So if I was to go from here to maybe here, so notice how the chest is higher, it brings my spine more over the golf ball again. Now, if we can do that, if we can stay centered, if the chest points higher, we are now in a position to move into that left side, which brings that low point after the golf ball, which enables me to compress the golf ball, hit the golf ball, then the turf. If we do the chest down too long, it looks like this. A lot of movement back and forth. Done correctly with the chest higher, the spine slightly more extended. We'll see we stay on our center line a little bit better. much easier to hit that golf ball than turf. So another very common thing I see in the backswing would be how that trail hip works. And that really does mess around with that low point also. What we tend to see as players who are trying to rotate and turn a lot is they get that right hip and it works back over their shoe and their legs go this way, okay? So we wanna see that trail hip operating differently because if I sway, hip moves back over here, I end up bringing that low point too far back like we discussed. So how do I keep it more centered? How do I want to think about this trail hip to keep me centered on the golf ball? I want you to think of the hips as moving backwards and forwards rather than thinking of them moving around too much. The around and back and forth can lead to a lot of movement that we don't really want to have. I want you to think of the right hip, trail hip, working backwards. So the hips go backwards, forwards. Okay, so right hip works back, lead hip works back, so they're operating and pivoting almost like two pistons. Now what you'll see the best players in the world do, when they set up, if I was to draw a line from their trail hip and they make that backswing, they'll actually have around about a ball's width of distance between the line that was their address and their trail hip and what's happening then. So their trail hip is actually working back and around towards the target, their tailbone their right glute is actually getting closer to the target as the club's moving in the backswing. So we're looking, instead of this movement, we want to see that feeling of the right hip working back from here. Now I'm centered, my hips have worked correctly, I've pivoted really well into my right side, I've got some extension into my trail side, pelvis is in a good place, now I can shift a little bit of pressure which we'll do on another video, more, more in depth. Shift a little bit of pressure, low point is further forward, allows me to hit the golf ball, then the turf. Obviously, if I move away over here, low point's moving backwards and forwards too much, which makes you suffer big time with contact issues. So again, the incorrect way would be pelvis moving, which is bringing low point backwards and forwards, very inconsistent. So if I do it correctly, and the trail hip works back, the right glute and the tailbone work back towards the target, I can stay centered and control my low point much better. And really improve my contact. Okay, so the drill, the bit we all like. This drill we can do for both aspects, whether you're a forward bend too long, you're a trail hip slider. This can work for both, okay? It's a very easy little exercise to do really going to keep you hyper focused on the golf ball and the low point. So once you've taken an alignment stick, I'm using the swing plate here because I'm at a range and I don't have the luxury of grass to stick sticks into. If you are somebody who practices at the range, these are amazing. I'll put a little link in the description below with the code. You can get some discount on there if you so wish. Put the alignment stick into your basket, your swing plate. We're going to position it so the alignment sticks are round about knee height. Crucially, the golf ball is directly underneath it. Bird's eye view directly underneath the stick. Now, this is a very simple little exercise. The objective when you make your golf swing is to keep the ball underneath the stick. If it, I demonstrate an incorrect way, whether it's the hip or the chest moving off the golf ball, you'll see as I swing back, if I move off the golf ball, I can see the entirety of the golf ball plus some grass target side. If you happen to do the opposite and you're more of a reverse tilter, probably for another video, then I can see golf ball and too much of the grass behind the golf ball. So the objective here is to remain in control of the low point and keep the golf ball in the same place. So our body is remaining centered over the golf ball. So when we make a perfect little backswing, we can just see, I can see the stick just dissecting that golf ball. 
No, it has to be far enough back so we can hit some shots. But it's a really, really invaluable little tool to make sure you stay more centered and thus control that low point better. So I would suggest you make some back swings and some through swings. Just feeling that you can keep that stick in the same place and you don't see it moving backwards and forwards over the golf ball. And when you've done it enough times, you've got a bit of confidence. Like I always say, start very slow. The objective for this exercise is to have the stick dissecting the golf ball throughout the entirety of the swing. So back swing, keep the stick over the ball. And I really felt good ball math interaction, ball flight nice and strong, really, really invaluable way for you to practice this at the range next time you're there. So I hope that's helped explain maybe if you have one of those characteristics, but certainly for me, there's a premium for staying centered and controlling the bottom of the golf swing. So try the exercise, let me know how you get on. If you need some help, some clarity, whatever, jump in the comments below, let's have a chat. Always happy to hear from you guys. And if you find it helpful, don't forget to subscribe, maybe like the video, drop a comment below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.